In this video, we will graph circles for real life situations. Here we have about space. A satellite is in circular orbit 25,000 miles above Earth. Now write an equation for the orbit of this satellite. If the origin is at center of Earth, use 8,000 miles as the diameter of the Earth. So now here, they have told a satellite, imagine this is the satellite rotating, that is 25,000 miles above the Earth. Now if I have uh, Earth over here, the distance would be 25,000 miles, I'll write 25k. But there is one more thing, the diameter of Earth is given. And this is, see, where the satellite is orbiting from the center of the Earth, right? Now what is from year to year? That is 4,000, 4k. Okay, and then 25k. Now, what is uh, the equation of the circles? It's a most easiest equation. It's x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equals r square. Now, since it is in the center of the origin of the earth, it will be 0, 0. So, we just write this equation x square plus y square equals r square. If at all, there will be coordinates given the origin is at some specific point h and k then we have to use those points but over here it's in the origin so it's just zero and zero over here so we use this equation but what is the radius now from here to here it is four okay this is also four and then we have twenty five thousand so four thousand plus twenty five thousand would be twenty nine thousand square we have to square this up and then we have x squared plus y squared. Just put this in the calculator and you will get the answer. The equation would be for the part A of this question. Part B is to draw a sketch of the earth and the orbit to scale. Label your sketch. Okay. So you need to just take a scale. Say I'll take 1000 miles or 5000 miles as 1 centimeter. Draw 5 centimeter line. Draw a radius. And over here it should be nearly 1 centimeter line. Draw a radius. Uh, just rough figure is enough, you know. Draw two circles. This is 4,000. This is 25,000. And that's it. Uh, the total radius over here, that would be 29,000. And let's just see the sample answers. Here, this 8841 million is by squaring 29,000. I'll just show you now. I've just typed in 29,000 squared. That is 841 million. Yes, it's the same answer. And this is the graph over here. In the coordinate, just draw two circles. And you can tell this is the satellite, this is the Earth. And the radius is 29,000. So this is just a brief sketch, you know. Now, another similar problem. Suppose an unobstructed radio station broadcast could travel 120 kilometers. Assume the station is centered at the origin. Write the equation to represent the boundary of the broadcast area with the origin as the center. Now it's very simple when it comes to circles it's just x squared plus y squared equals r squared here what is r squared 120 squared so this is all you need to do because they have clearly told it's at the center and that's the answer if the transmission tower over here it'll be the same okay now if the transmission tower is relocated 40 kilometers east here, because they have mentioned the directions, we have to know which is north, south, east and west. Above is always north, down is south, right is east and left is west. So they have told 40 kilometers east. So it's going over here, 40 and 10 kilometers south over here, 10 uh, of the current location. Current was origin, right? Now we have to use this x minus h the whole square. It's x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equals r square and an increased signal which transmits signals an additional 80 kilometers what is the equation that represents the new broadcast area here all you need to write is x minus what happens with the horizontal direction it goes to the right it's plus 40 so you just write 40 here this is the first equation plus now here it goes down, it's minus 10, this is minus, this is plus. Minus and minus will become plus here, whole square, and just square. Now here they have told 80 additional, it was already 120, so it is 200 square. So let's put this in the calculator. The first one over here is 14,400, uh, 14, you can see that's the answer. 
For the next one, you have to just do is 200 squared, and that is 40,000. And the remaining thing is all right. Very easy one. Circles are generally very easy. Now, this one over here is about concentric circles. Our circles with the same center, but different radii. Refer to the graph at the right where AB, this is the line, is the diameter of the circle. Write an equation of the circle concentric with the circle at the right with a radius of 4 units greater. Now, what you need to understand is, now they have told the center is same, but there is 4 more extra radius. So, it's outer, you know, bigger. So, first what we will do is we will find this radius and then... Four, radius is 4 units greater, so we'll add 4 to that. So how we do that is, you, you can do it in different ways. We can find the distance formula here. I hope you remember the distance formula. It is square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Because you just can't measure it. It's somewhere in the center if you look carefully. Here, can you just consider what is the exact point? Now I will guess it is from here. Then you can do a Pythagoras, but still it's so much complications, right? So this is the easiest method. Now just assume this has x1, y1, x2, y2. You can interchange these. You'll still get the correct answer. I'll do it. 3 minus of minus 5 will be plus 5 the whole square plus y will be 6 minus 2 the whole square. Square root of this. Put it in the calculator directly, you'll get the answer. It's 8 squared is 64 plus 4 squared is 16, it will be 70, 8 is square root, 8 is the answer. This is the diameter. Now, what is the radius? Square root 80 divided by 2 is the radius, half of it. Because the distance is the diameter, half of it is the radius. Now, this is the radius. Now, can you see what is the center of the circle? You, you can find the center easily. You can count 2, 4, a, a y value is 4. And what is the x value? It is somewhere minus 1. So the center is easy to find out, but you can't find the radius by counting like this. It's a slant line. Now we know the radius, we know the center, but that is for the original circle. Now we need to do for the question A, the equation whose radius is more than 4. So now we know this is the radius of the circle, Eight root 80 by 2, just add 4 to it. This is the radius of the part A. Now we know the formula is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So I'm squared it up. And what is x squared and y squared? Now you need to remember to, you know, write the centers as well. It's x minus h the whole squared. Minus of minus 1 will be plus 1 the whole squared plus y minus 4 the whole squared. So this is the first equation. You can put this in the calculator, you'll get the answer. Next one, write an equation of the circle concentric with the circle at the right with radius 2 units less. I'll just write it out over here. x plus 1 the whole square plus y minus 4 the whole square equals. Here all you need to do is root 80 by 2 minus 2 the whole square. This is the answer. Graph the circles from part A and B on the same coordinate plane. Over here, if you have a compass, you can just take half of this radius. Uh, no, sorry, not half. You know, you have to just do this in the calculator and then draw that radius and one more radius. So that is how we would do it. Let's use our calculators and check these values. I've typed this out over here and the answer is 36 plus. Let's see. Okay, they have written it like this or you can just press SD. But this is the exact value. You can see for the first one A. And for the next one, all you need to do is over here, subtract it by 2. So minus 2 would be the thing. It'll be this is the answer. And this is the graph. This is the rough sketch of graph. This is the original. You can just put the center and graph the two circles. Here we have one more problem. This is the last one in this topic. Earthquakes. A stadium is located about 35 kilometers west and 40 kilometers north of a city. So first thing, north, south, east and west. Now they have told 35 kilometers west over here. So it will be minus left side. 40 north, that will be plus. Suppose an earthquake occurs with its epicenter about 55 kilometers from the stadium. Assume that the origin of the coordinate plane is located at the center of the city. Write an equation for the, for the set of points that could be the epicenter of the earthquake. Basically, over here, what they mean is that's the radius. 
because over here they have given us the details of that particular stadium and it's 55 kilometers away right so that would be the radius so all you need to do is x minus h the whole squared plus y minus k the whole squared equals r squared formula so x minus now over here will be plus 35 whole squared plus y minus 40 the whole squared equals r squared as a way of 55 squared just put it in the calculator you will get the answer the square of 55 is 3025 so that is the answer you can see over here that is the end of this question i hope it is clear if you have any doubts please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments i hope you all will head on to the next video